Really nice reaction times off the line on all of these heats so far. Maverick overtaking just a little bit on the really far inside. I'm sitting on the exit. I'm watching all the racers come at me. It's going to be really cool to see where people go. Look at them turn. We can see the 350s reach the corner first, showing us their belly as they head for break and snake. Canadian snake. Maverick in yep. the lead. <laughs> Bolt, uh, Bulldog then. I took it real slow. I wanted to get it right. <laughs> Bulldog, I think, actually overtakes Canadian Maverick. And it piece of it with a nice comfortable lead right now in that uh, 350R. Data Coming machine right behind right. him. Here they go. Through G-Lock. Oh, Data hits oh, the inside. Man. He doesn't make it through. Sharkbait very close behind, but also Strazik. Let's see if Sharkbait can overtake Canadian Maverick. No, we oh, lost Shark. Shark. Got lost at the end. Oh no. Yeah, Shark also with the DNF. Oh man, Marble, did we get that on camera? As they come to loop D. Let's see if Strazi can keep it in the air this time. Here they come. Data Machine over first, then Strazik. Let's see if Data Machine, see that's the difference. Data Machine's so much slower through it because of that heavy, heavy 350R. Strazik <laughs> through the loop much quicker just because he doesn't get thrown around as much. Data Machine oh, hits the antenna. He hits the antenna approaching one step back. Oh no, we know how that oh. one hurts, don't we? Oh. We lost Prime right at the first Metro loop, so must have went a little too high and caught his caught his head on that uh, that first Metro loop. So he's out of this race. Rizzy in the lead, making his way through the Metro loop, the tightest turn, the tightest uh, around there. Uh, he's now through it, and Data Machine is chasing him down. But also Watermelon in the P72, and they're really close. Oh, Sharkbait and Rizzy get together. Oh. They blow up. I don't know who was at fault there. It, it seems like they just kind of merged. And Strazik went extremely low through one step back. I don't know if you caught that. He was inches from the ground. <laughs> he likes of, to get uh, close. Step back. That is pretty crazy. <laughs> hey, so, yeah, this is an interesting one. Strazik not really applying the shack attack. Taking a slower line around Do. Just because he kind of turns left first as he loops before he turns right. Um, and that slows him down a lot, even with the P72, especially with the P72. Here they come. I'll There's Steve CC a little the bit first of an issue one. at the end. He goes through now. Up and over. There's Kyle. We see Rizzy coming past. Steve CC is back on his way down. Can he keep it clean going through? He does. Oh, we see some explosions. Looks like salad. we lost Salad there on the entry, unfortunately. Boltok, a little bit outside, actually overtakes Maverick. A really good run for Boltok. Oh, that's looking amazing. Yeah, he is neck and neck with Canadian Maverick. They both reach the um, Metro Loop at the same time. Both in 350Rs, but Shacknu takes the in inside line with the P72. Let's see how they approach the Break and Snake. If they can get through it cleanly this time, let's see how they do. Shark bait a little slow. Shaq new overtaking Bulltalk. Nope, staying behind him, unable to make it stick. Canadian Maverick still in the lead with Bulltalk behind. The 350s are, Ty. They're, they're doing it. How is it that they're running at the top? They're doing pretty well. They're, they're definitely taking advantage of some of these corners where even though they have that mass to throw around, they, they really do have some advantages over the P72, especially in some panicked conditions, you know, when you really can't set up oh. that P72 perfectly. Oh. oh, network. Nope, we're good. Boltalk crashed oh, into the ground, but okay. then it, it caught up. Everything's fine. <laughs> These are the fastest guys. And Boltalk's winning in a 350R. This is lap one. Let's see how they do. Yeah, right now I think we're sitting two 350Rs and two P72s in the top four. So that is just incredible. To see for sure. Yeah, dude, this is amazing. Who would have guessed? They're so close together too. <laughs> Here we see Splen chasing. I'm a little surprised at Splen. How is it that the 350R is so competitive? I, I never expected that. So Speedweed went really wide. It looks like he made a mistake coming out of the start finish. So he's actually been overtaken by Canadian Maverick as well. He's taken second and now he's neck and neck with Splen and Bulltalk. 
clearly in the need in the lead uh canadian maverick chasing him down then speed we then splend as they head for bake break and snake once again this is lap number two of four canadian and speed so close together and splen still just keeping an eye out for it he's sitting there and looking at, at it as it happens without much action for him they're having none of that they know where they are <laughs> they know exactly oh, yeah. speed where they are forget it was four laps speed that forget it was four laps Speed oh, we speed oh that. my gosh <laughs> speed we thought that he finished with one lap that's insane Maverick at this point has fallen back a little bit on Splen, so Splen is kind of cleanly secured third place at this point. How is it that the 350Rs are in the lead? Bird overtaking Canadian Maverick. Canadian Maverick drops back a little bit, but really fast through the do. Splen and Canadian then neck and neck as the exit, but Splen doesn't make it out. He hits the end oh. of do. He doesn't make it up. He crashes. I don't know if that was because he got close to Canadian Maverick, but he didn't make it through. God, makes you wonder, what happened to this 350R? Everyone is hugging it. I'm surprised nobody blew up. Canadian in the lead, though. <laughs> this is a repeat of the heats. Speed taking it yeah. a little more careful. Bulltalk overtaking them. Shacknew in the lead now with the P72. Canadian right behind. Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm not sure if he's just running a really blistering pace or if it's some of these other guys are just uh, taking a little easy, maybe, Ooh, maybe sharp a bait. little early Sharp jitters. bait hit Loop D or someone Ooh. while going around Loop D and oh. uh, got knocked out of place. He's back on course now, though. Really based on anything I'm observing, I just, I don't know. People feel like they're racing faster during the main events. I think, I think some of it is just going to be the natural required change in the way you're using your boost too, right? That's Rather true. than trying to yeah. push it all. Sometimes sometimes really pushing a whole bunch of boost can actually s screw you up and slow you down. Oh, we lost Canadian Maverick in no, four. No, no. Yeah, that looks like he hit too. the side of the building on last chance, unfortunately. So Shark is clearly ahead. Splen is actually caught up to speed here in the final what section the of this race. Hell? Splen is right behind speed, so speed better keep it consistent through last chance. Splen is coming down like a rocket down the straight towards last chance. Shark across the finish in second Let's place. Splen is right there. This is neck and neck for this battle for third. Oh! What? They moved! They exploded! They both crashed! Oh no! <laughs> Did they collide with each other? Oh, they had to have with it being instantaneous. So that's leaving it open for Strazic, I believe, to come in for a third place.